You ready, Tux? You ready to be videoed for the first time? Okay, let's go. Hey guys, Ellie here. Oh, I know you guys are shocked right now. Y'all are thinking to yourselves, I cannot believe it, Ellie's holding a dog. I thought Ellie was a cat person. Ellie doesn't like dogs, da 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 Oh, guys, I love dogs. Just because I'm a cat person, I am a cat person, I always will be. Just because I'm a cat person doesn't mean that I don't love dogs too. And it doesn't mean that I can't own a dog because as you can see, I now own a little puppy. This sweet guy right here, uh, we don't have an official name for him, but we've been calling him Tux. It was my mom's idea because he, I guess I'm getting married soon and we'll be wearing tuxes and he kind of looks like a tuxedo. So it just kind of is a very fitting theme. And we've been calling him Tux. He looks kind of like a black Tux. So that's most likely the name we're gonna go with. So say hi to everybody, Tux. Tux says hi. Tux is about 10 weeks old. The two most common questions is the one I already answered about, like, how is Ellie holding a dog? And then two is his breed. His breed is half Australian Shepherd, half Poodle. He's a, so they call that a Aussie Doodle, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. But either way, this sweet guy right here has been such a bundle of joy. Oh, he, I, I'm shocked about this. He smells good. I've said so many times in the videos that most dogs don't smell good. Not just their breath. I don't like puppy breath and all that, but the smell of their fur usually isn't good. But this guy, maybe it's because he hasn't been outside getting dirty like other dogs do. But whatever the case is, he actually smells really, really good like shampoo. So, yeah, usually I could only do that with cats. I normally could never do that with a dog, but this guy's a little bit different. Oh, no. I can't find Tux anywhere. Do y'all see him anywhere? I don't know, I'll just look under the bed as a last. Oh, <gasps> there he is, Tux. What are you doing under there, little doggy? Your ear all flopped back, the weird pink part of your ear all exposed, closing your eyes, taking a nap under my bed. It must be hot under there. Why don't you come out here with me, Tux? It's no fun under there by yourself. Seriously, y'all, I don't, I don't know why he goes under there. He, <laughs> he's been doing that a lot the last few days. I guess he really likes it because it's kind of like a cave. You would think that cats would be the ones that would prefer things that are similar to caves, but whatever the reason is, Tux loves being under my bed. So I'm not going to stop him if he likes it. As long as he doesn't pee on the carpet, then why not? But I have some really funny videos of him because this is day three that he's been here. And I want to show you guys the cat's reaction to when he first showed up. Let's just say they did not like it at first cup is starting to finally come around but cake is still having trouble adjusting to it i'm making sure to still show her extra love and attention during this transitional period because integrating a new pet to the family is not always that easy especially since they've had seven years of harmony seven years of just them and nobody else and then also he's just been doing some very playful funny shenanigans so let's get right into those funny clips all right guys here we are we've just gotten home with our sweet boy he's been in the car for like an hour and a half so i know he's excited to run around and play let's go inside i'm really nervous about this not just for his sake but for the kittens too because i never told y'all this story but cup and cake have had one animal visitor before in their whole eight years of living remember uh, morty my cousin stephanie's cat mom yes um, yeah, so Morty came to stay here for a week because Stephanie went out of town or something. And over the whole seven days, uh, it was a disaster. Cup finally made friends with them after the fifth day or so. The first five days were really, really rough. But Cake in the whole seven days never once came out from under your bed. She was hiding the whole time. So that kind of worries me that it took them that long to get acquainted with a cat. So how much longer will it take for them to get acquainted with a dog? But, you know, we'll, we'll do our best. All right, this is the moment of truth right here. I'm not as worried about Cup, because Cup's a little more outgoing and he's curious about everything, so Cup down there will be fine, but Cake right here, I'm really worried about because, like I said, it's, in seven days, she couldn't even make friends with another cat, so with a dog, I think it's gonna be tough. Cakey, it's okay. This is one of your new friends right here. I'm holding you, it's okay. Okay, okay. 
I'm shocked that Cake isn't panicking right now. She seems a little bit suspicious, but I would have thought she'd be like trying to claw her way out of my arms and run under the bed or something. But she's actually kind of, this is like miraculous almost, in fact. Yeah, it's pretty calm. I really did not expect this. It's very calm, man. Yeah, everybody's really calm. I did not expect this reaction at all. I expected violence and pandemonium and <laughs> dishes breaking and all that stuff. <laughs> You can try. Down. She may run, but we'll see. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, her oh tail. look her tail. Oh, well, it's okay. Let him, let him, let him. Let him. I'll video it. Yeah, go ahead. All right, here's this is this right here is a little more of what I expected. Look at her tail. She has like a raccoon tail right there. Cake, it's okay. Oh no. Look at. Cup is so curious. Cup has no fear. That's why he's named Cup. His name, actually, fun fact, his name stands for calm under pressure. And he literally is being calm under some intense pressure right now. Cup knows no fear. Okay, I'm worried about him getting... It'll take him a little bit of time. At least Cake's not trying to eat him or anything. This is better than I thought right here. It's okay, baby. Of, it's of, of course, there's Cup back here to play with, and he's curious about He, I think he senses her fear, because they say dogs can sense fear. Dude, play with Cup. Don't play with her. She went behind the couch. Oh, yeah. He just yeah. lost her. He doesn't know where she is. Yeah. What do you think, Cup? What do you think, Tux? <laughs> Well, that wasn't too bad of an introduction. I thought it'd be much worse. All right, guys, so here we are, day two. And as you can see, Cup has already pretty much got himself fully comfortable around the new puppy. Cake, on the other hand, not so much, but you can see he's running around right here, and Cup is basically unfazed. Cup's just chilling here, minding his own business. I hear that this morning, oh, of course, right when I say that, he hisses at him. He hadn't done that all day. He's using his litter box good as well. Oh, he was. I think yeah. he just peed in there. Yeah, he just peed. That's why it was quick. He uses his litter box really, really well. He only had one accident. That's pretty good. And he's also learned how to go up the stairs. So he just followed Cup up the stairs. I can't believe it. I got to go investigate this, you guys. <laughs> yeah, Cup. Tux. <laughs> I'm really proud of Cup, though. That's the reason his name's Calm Under Pressure. Hey, don't bark. Where's Cake out of it? Cake's. Cup, you hissed at him? He got too close to you? Yeah, you show him, Cup. Uh oh. I wonder where Cake's at. I don't know where Cake went. I didn't even have to train him. Even the kitties, when they were little, I had to train them how to go up and down the stairs. But with the puppy, all I do is just, I, I just go up and down and he follows me like this. <laughs> Cup, he's so crazy, isn't he? Isn't he such a crazy, crazy animal? Guys, look at my dog. Look at my puppy. I have no idea on earth why he likes doing this. I just finished editing my video. I'm trying to check on him, see if he's okay. And I find him passed out with about three quarters of his body under my bed. And the phone's right in his face with the flash on bright. And I'm talking pretty close to his ears. So he is exhausted. He's like slumped, passed out, exhausted, just beat, just worn out. Look from this angle. <laughs> His whole body's under my bed. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know, guys. But anyways, with that said, uh, we're really excited about Tux. He's such a sweet dog. And I cannot wait to make more videos of him and keep you guys updated on some of the funny things that he does. 
and just to you know continue raising him and hopefully he'll grow up into an amazing adult dog but with that said i hope y'all enjoyed this video y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see i hope you all have a great day and as i always say your boy ellie out